Uh, again, when we talk about treating knee arthritis, we have several options when we treat knee arthritis surgically. We can treat it surgically with a full knee replacement, or depending upon the location and the extent of the arthritis, we may be able to treat the knee with a partial knee replacement. So we'll start with full knee replacement. Uh, that's what's most common to everybody. So we talk about full knee replacement. We're really talking about replacing the end of the femur or thigh bone and the top of the tibia or shin bone where the knee joint lives. Now in this model, we don't have the patella or the kneecap in place so that you can see, but in most knee designs, we will shave off the inner one half of the patella and replace it with a plastic button. So on a knee replacement, we first open up the knee that covers the end of the thigh bone. We have a tibial or shin bone piece that covers the upper end of the femur. So when we open up the knee, the first thing that we do is we make bony cuts based on our alignment that shave off just a small amount of bone at the end. So typically we're not taking more than about eight millimeters of bone off the end of the femur, the front and the back. And once we have it reshaped to fit our design, then we can put a temporary femur piece on. This one of course is a model so it fits quite nicely. Very common to have this happen in surgery as well. Once we have the femur prepared, we then bring the shin bone or the tibia bone forward. Again, this one is a little bit simpler in some ways because it's basically just a flat cut from side to side, and then the cut has a little bit of tilt from front to back to aid in helping the patient obtain flexion. Once we have these cuts obtained, we put in temporary knee replacements to sort of check the balance and stability of the knee, and then once we're satisfied with that, we can put in the final knee component. Now, knees can be placed in two fashions. They can be pounded into the bone in what we call a cementless technique, where the bone bleeds into the nooks and crannies of the prosthesis and holds it in place, very similar to how we do most of our hip replacement surgery. The majority of knee replacements are still done using a bone cement. So we first fill or cover the upper tibia bone with this bone cement. We then take the tibial tray, we will impact it into position. If we know what size plastic we're going to use, we can then snap in the ultra high molecular weight plastic insert. And then once that is in place, we will put on our femoral component with the bone cement or bone glue and let that harden. And then once it's hardened, we can check our range of motion and our stability and decide if we have a successful knee replacement. Partial knee replacement is specific to the area of wear. So most patients who are bow-legged are going to wear out on the inside part of their knee like this. And this would be one form of partial knee replacement that would work. Again, the principles are still very simple. We are going to take and shave off the arthritis on the inside aspect of the knee on the end and on the back of the femur bone and on the inside of the tibia here. We will glue in a new metal tray. We will glue on a new metal runner to replace the damaged cartilage. And then in between those metal trays, we will snap some sort of high density plastic. Some designs will have a plastic that moves like this. Other designs, the plastic will be fixed. We look at, at partial knee replacements. We need to be very disciplined about the patients we pick. They need to have arthritis isolated to the joint we're replacing. So in this case, the medial compartment of the knee uh, in some cases, we'll just replace the patellofemoral compartment of the knee, and there are some cases where we can just replace the outside of the knee. There are stress x-rays that we can obtain to help confirm the diagnosis as being appropriate. A lot of the decision comes from the x-rays and the discussion with the patient as far as expectations and lifestyle. The data would show that if we pick our patients properly, the pain relief between these two designs is basically equal. Because the partial knee replacement is a little less cutting of bone and a little less surgery, I would say the majority of the studies show that the recovery is a little bit faster from a partial knee replacement. The uh, activity level between the two seem to be very similar. There is at least one study that did show that the partial knee replacement is looked to be able to squat and kneel and, and bend and tolerate that a little bit better than full knee replacement patients. Revision rate is generally very similar. Some of the studies will show that the partial knee replacements have a slightly higher revision rate at sort of midterm stages compared to fulls. Um, but both are very uh, successful ways to treat knee arthritis in the appropriate patient.